everyone. I'm currently readjusting, remaking my shelves, uh, my shell drawer, and apparently putting my phone in charge because it's almost dead. And all right, it's on charge now. So I'm gonna turn this on. Sorry, AC. All right. Um. So this is actually uh, a little hard to do because um these two things. Well, these three things. This is a cat petting glove. Um. Well. We had two little kittens, Snoopy and Mystery. They both apparently passed because of fading kitten syndrome. You can search it up. It's common. Very, very common. But that's not what the video is here for today. But anyways, these were their favorite things to do. They laid on that. They played with that. It has like feathers and stuff on it. And I used to pet them with that. So it still has their fur on it, which makes it very sentimental. So I'm going to be removing all the shells and rocks and putting it right back on. But see, I tried to do big to small, but as you can see, that didn't work out. So now I'm going to be doing color. Alright, so we've got this to this. And see, so yeah, I've had this for a very long time. Don't blame me. This is what it looks like. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be putting all the shells from there. And, of course, these are not all my shells, but I can bring some others. So first we have this. It's not going to close fully. Don't squish the feather. Okay, let me show you these. We've got all of these. I have some pretty big conch shells. They are shells that are um, about here to here big. They're probably as big as this container. They are white, and some of them can be gray, I think. They're pretty pretty big and things can often hide in them so when ooh, i did not notice that I had crystals ooh. so whenever you do find one especially if it's wild one don't touch the points those are those contain poison and you'll need to get them clipped two watch out for snakes and other things living inside of it because it's not a oh there might be something inside of it there what is inside of it let me get one of my shells real quick. Oh, it's a rock, but... Alright, let's do this. Honestly, I'm gonna put that big rock right there. This is coral, so I'm just gonna put it right there. These are shells. Which one is the next biggest? I just feel so awful touching that, because the last time I touched them, this, the kittens were still alive, and that was in 2020, so you can tell it's been a long time. But I gotta let it go one day. Still not letting go. But, this is the beginning of it. Anyways, uh, here's the inside of a shell. See, I remember one time, or one day, me and my dad, uh, were looking for something to do. And I'm like, well, why don't we do something with the shells? Can I show you my shell collection? And, I don't, I, there's no telling what he said, but, basically, it was in a way of saying yes. Well, we ended up polishing the shells, and basically... Now, I don't remember if we got nail polish remover or anything like that, but we got, uh... Also, that is a conch shell. So, yes, they're pretty big, huh? And I have, like, a lot. I'll have to show you. But, then again, continuing the story, I had gotten a toothbrush, and I had a cup of water, right? Well, I'd get it, and I'd brush the shell with it, and I'd call it polishing. There's no tongue if I had anything else, like hand sanitizer or nail polish move or whatever but yeah but um i'll be right back with you this is what it looks like now i've got a lot of those this. so yeah that's uh my shawl collection uh yeah this thing weighs like a hundred pounds. Not gonna figure out where to put all this. Goodbye.